detective here says uh, a box contains 67 coins, only dimes and nickels. Uh, the amount of money in a box is $4.70. How many dimes and how many nickels are in the box? Okay, so uh, let's see if we can figure this out. So guys, we only have two types of coins here, right? We have dimes and nickels. So let's let X be the number of dimes, right? And let's let Y be the number of nickels. So X plus Y, the number of dimes and the number of nickels added together is going to give me 67, right? Now, we know something about dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents each. And we know something about nickels. Nickels are worth 5 cents each. And we have a total of $4.70, okay? So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take, say, this top equation right here. And I'm going to solve it either for X or I'm going to solve it for Y. It doesn't really make any difference, okay? Um, I'll tell you what. Let's solve it for Y. So if I solve it for Y, I'm going to move that X over there. And I'm going to end up with Y equals 67 minus X. Now I'm going to take this value of Y and I'm going to plug it in right here. So I'm going to end up with a 0.10x plus a 0 0.05 times 67 minus x equals 470, okay? So now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply, okay? So I'm going to take my calculator, 0 0.05 times 67, 0 0.05, excuse me, times 67 is $3.35, so $3.35, a nickel times a minus X is a minus 0.05X equals 470, all right? We can combine these terms because they're both X's. So that's going to give me a 0.05X plus 335 equals 4.70, okay? I'm going to minus 335 on both sides. So I'm kind of running out of room here, but we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. Let get my black pen going again. Okay, so now I'm going to have 0.05x equals, I'm going to, sub, those are going to cancel. So let me subtract these 470 minus 335. So 4.7, oops, 0 0.70 minus 3.35 is $1.35. Okay, so I have $1.35. And then my last step is to divide by 0 0.05. So let's do that one more time. Divided by 0 0.05, 27. Okay, so x is 20. Oops. Get my eraser. X is 27, okay? What did x stand for? x stood for the number of dimes, right? So how many dimes do I have? <clears throat> Excuse me. I got 27 dimes, right? Okay. Now, remember how many coins we had in total? We had a total of 67, right? So if I say, well, what's 47 minus 27? I'm sorry, not 47, but 67. Oops. 67 minus 27, that should give me 40. And so that would be, I know I'm getting a little messy here, guys. Sorry about that. I would have 40 nickels.